Hey, it's Ryan with BTOD TV. What is it about the Human Scale Liberty Chair that has cemented itself as an iconic chair in the office furniture industry? Stay tuned. In this video, we're going to find out. Looking for a new office chair? BTOD TV is your source for everything office. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. In this office chair review, we're going to take a look at the Human Scale Liberty. And I'm specifically gonna focus on the things that I like and the things that I don't like. The Liberty Chair was designed by Niels Diffrian, who's also responsible for designing human skills freedom chair. His goal was to create a mesh back chair that had a minimalist design, but also good functionality. The Liberty starts at a price of $889 and comes with a 15 year warranty. The Liberty comes with a lot of customization when it comes to the look of the chair, but there's only really one option that you can choose to add to the functionality, which we did choose to upgrade, and that's the adjustable arms. So here's how we laid out our chair, and the total price for our chair ended up being $1,029. A chair doesn't become as popular as the Liberty without having a lot of good things going for it, and there are a lot of things that I do like about this chair. Starting with the build quality. This is a product that's made in the USA, and it features injection molded plastic and aluminum throughout the majority of the chair. Because Human Scale chose to go with high quality plastic and high grade aluminum, they were able to create a lightweight chair design while also maintaining the strength and durability you look for in a high-end task chair. The Liberty is a great choice for those of you that are looking for a mesh back chair in a high design environment. It has a really clean look with almost no paddles or levers showing and everything on the chair matches really nicely. It has curved lines and a modern look that will go with almost any office decor. One thing that really sets the Liberty apart from a lot of other mesh chairs is the customization you have when it comes to the mesh and the upholstery on the seat. So the mesh comes in a variety of patterns as well as colors. And the seat also comes in a variety of upholstery options, patterns, and different colors, ranging from vinyls to leathers and even a suede option. Another good thing that the Liberty Chair has going for it is that this has a seat that we have found to be comfortable for most users. And that's for a few reasons. The first is the overall shape and design of the seat itself. So we don't have a huge contour and we don't have a pronounced frame. So you're really able to use the entirety of the seat any way that you wish. You can lean um, forward or backwards or side to side without coming into contact with a frame or without coming out of a contoured cushion like a lot of other chairs offer. Another good thing is gonna be the padding on the chair. You get about two inches of high quality foam, so it's not gonna be so thick that it keeps you warm in the chair, but it's good enough to offer good support for long hours at a time. I am also a fan of the seat pan design. It is designed with an injection molded plastic that allows it to flex and move while you work, so it doesn't restrict you in any way while you're sitting in the chair. When you're spending around $1,000 on a task chair, you wanna be sure that you're gonna get a long life out of that chair. And Human Scale backs the Liberty by one of the best warranties in the industry. You get 15 years of coverage, and that's for people weighing up to 300 pounds, and it's good for 24 seven usage, so you can put it in round the clock applications. There are gonna be exclusions to the arm pads, the foam, and the fabric, which will be reduced to five years of coverage at single shift usage. If you're worried about assembly or installation on a number of chairs, that won't be an issue with the Liberty. It arrives almost fully assembled. You just have to set the top portion of the chair onto the bottom portion, sit on it, and the assembly is complete. So very quick, very easy for those of you that are worried about installations. The Liberty Chair is also a nice option for those of you that are concerned with the environment. Human Scale has a company-wide focus on having as little environmental impact as possible, and that comes from the manufacturing process, the facilities that they use, as well as the packaging and the chair itself. There's a reason that the Liberty Chair has become a symbol of high-end office seating. While that may be the case, it's not gonna be a good fit for everyone, and it's important that we address some downsides so that we don't get you into a chair that might be a bad fit for your needs. So the first potential downside with the Liberty Chair is gonna be the way that the chair reclines. It's not going to act 
like most office chairs, where they have a swivel tilt or a synchro tilt or even a knee tilt mechanism where this back of the seat goes down as the backrest goes back and kind of cradles you and creates a rocking motion. Instead, this chair, the back of the seat will go up with you as the back goes back. So you'll notice that when I recline, I'm pushed up instead of rocking back. And this is to put you in a more open hip and leg angle. And the thought process behind this is to keep you in a tasking position through the entire recline. So you'll notice that my eye level remains at the same position through the entire recline, which allows me to continue to task and work on my computer at any point while I'm reclining. While the recline motion on the Liberty is great for tasking, it is gonna be a problem for those of you that like to have a standard rocking motion on your chair, because this chair is not gonna act like a normal office chair where you can just rock back and forth, kick back and relax. So if that's what you're looking for, then I would recommend looking for an alternative option to the Liberty. The Liberty chair has very little adjustability. Out of the box, you're only gonna get two adjustments, seat height adjustment and seat depth adjustment. You can opt for height adjustable arms, which we did, but that's gonna be the extent of the adjustability on the Liberty chair. The chair does not have tension control, tilt locks, or anything like that. It is designed with a weight sensitive recline mechanism. So depending on your weight and depending on the pressure placed on the backrest, that is going to dictate when you move back. The chair does hold itself in any position that you'd like to, through the recline, but you're not gonna be able to control the tension or lock it in place like a lot of other chairs that we see. So the chair does function well, and this goes back to Niels Diffrian's goal in designing a minimalist chair that has good functionality. So it does function well, but if you like to really fine tune your chair and pick the exact spot that you want it and the exact tension controls, then you're probably gonna to wanna to look for an alternative chair to the Liberty. I think the overall lack of adjustability on the Liberty chair becomes especially problematic when it comes to the armrests. We touched earlier on the fact that they only have the option to add height adjustment. You do not have any ability to get width adjustable arms or arm cap adjustments. So you're not gonna have depth, width, or swivel adjustment on the Liberty chair. Now the arm pads themselves are very comfortable. They're soft, they feel very comfortable on your forearms or elbows, but not having any ability to move them around is gonna be an issue for getting everyone into an ergonomic posture and also for those of you that like to have awkward arm setups for specific typing and keying applications. We see three-dimensional and four-dimensional arms on chairs priced as low as two to $300. So I think that this is a huge miss on human skills part, not to have more adjustable arms on a task chair that costs around $1,000. The lack of armrest adjustability leads into my final problem with the Liberty chair. And that is that I do not think that this is a good option for those of you looking for a task chair if you are under 5'10". And that is because the arms are positioned 19 inches apart. Now 19 inches is gonna be on the higher side of most of the adjustable arms that we have seen. And without the ability to make them narrower with a width adjustment or with a swivel function, you are stuck at that 19 inches. You'll see that when I sit down in the chair, I'm 5'9". And when my arms are resting on the pads, you can see that they have an outward angle. They're naturally angled outward instead of being straight down and hanging. So. For anyone shorter than this, the angle is gonna be even more and more apparent. So people that are shorter than me, I do not think that this is an ideal choice for a tasking application. After getting the opportunity to use the Liberty chair for an extended period of time, I do not think that this is the best option for a tasking application. If you like the Liberty chair and wanna use a chair like this for tasking, then just go with the Different Smart. It's almost the same chair design, almost the same price, but you get three-dimensional arms and a more comfortable backrest. While the Liberty chair may not be the best option for tasking, I do think that this is a great conference chair. You're getting a high-end chair, good warranty, good build quality, it looks really nice with a clean modern design, and you have a ton of customization, more so than almost any mesh chair out there. So this is a really good chair for those conference room applications. If you're looking for more information on the Liberty Chair, then I would highly recommend clicking the link in the description where it will take you to our blog, where we have a full in-depth review going over all aspects of the Liberty. If you found this review helpful, then I would really appreciate a thumbs up 
and make sure to subscribe to our channel, youtube.com backslash BTODTV, so you don't miss out on any of our future office chair reviews. Thanks a lot for watching.